So, when many people think about learning a foreign language, even though they want to learn a foreign language, they're discouraged because they think they don't have the time. They think it's going to be too much hard work, you know, and maybe it's going to cost them so much money. And they get discouraged and then they shelve it for the time being. Now, I just want to tell, let you know that you can learn a foreign language while doing your job, while going to school, as long as you have passion, you have your devices and some free time. As a matter of fact, the most important thing is having the passion to do this. I learned foreign language all on my own, majorly on my own, with just about eight days of formal lessons. And because I did it, I think you can do it. So get along with me on this journey and let me show you how I did it and help you get started on your journey of learning foreign language. Salut, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? Uh, hello, how are you doing out there today? Today we are going to have a special episode here on the Psychologist NG TV. Guess what it is? Now I'm going to tell you how I learned a foreign language all on my own. No, not exactly all on my own, but mostly on my own. I'm going to tell you how I did it and because I could do it and I did it, I think you can do it. And the whole essence of this video is to spur someone up to get up and learn a foreign language. Now, why should you even think of learning a foreign language? Because learning a foreign language for people who are unemployed job seekers, it increases your chance of getting unemployment. It gives you an edge over other applicants, you see. So if you're an applicant, it is important that you add this skill to your CV. Now, another thing that learning a foreign language can do for you is it opens you up to a whole new world, new opportunities, new friends, a new way of life, a new family, and it is so interesting. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity at a second lease on life. It's like living life all over again. I so enjoyed this experience, and that's why I'm sharing it with you today, because I want you to do the same, not to miss out on this one. Now, this is what happened. At the time I was studying for my PhD degree, and then the university went on an industrial strike action. I was working part-time and I had some free time on my hands and I was bored. So what did I do? I said spending a lot of time playing a game called Garfield Defense. I'm sure some of you know this game. And I was investing a lot of time and energy playing this game. I was so serious about it, so into that game. And then one day I stopped and asked myself, what benefit I was going to get from being a star Garfield defense player. And then I decided I was going to use my time and my device to learn a skill that will profit me in the future. And so I decided to learn a foreign language. And I chose to learn the French language. Well, if you're interested in knowing why I chose French language particularly, ask me in the comment section and then I'll answer you in the next video. Now, so I chose to learn French language and this is what I did. I immediately went out on the Google Play Store and downloaded as many applications, French learning applications, as I could find on the Google Play Store. There were so many of them and when I downloaded and began to use them, it was so interesting. I found out I was actually learning and making progress, okay? So I downloaded different applications, and then I downloaded the dictionary, uh, translators, um, and all of those applications started learning. After about six months of learning or so, I was making quite some progress. And so I decided to search out a French learning center to enroll myself to learn. And then I went to the French learning center close to uh, the university there, and then I enrolled to learn French. I enrolled for a one month program that was close to Christmas season. And after attending classes for eight days, we shut down for Christmas. Guess what? I never returned to complete the one month lessons, but I never gave up. I never stopped. I continued learning on my own. More applications, setting targets for myself, learning daily, reading books. There were some books my husband had bought previously, you know, to help him learn French language because he needed it for his work. You know, at the time he worked in an international organization that required learning French. And so I used these books and I began to learn uh, French to, to deepen my knowledge of French. I was doing really good. I was enjoying myself. 
and my goal was to be able to communicate in the French language fluently, to be able to hold a conversation in French language and nothing was going to stop me. Now, at some point, I also um, started listening to French radio. And when I started initially and listened for a couple of minutes, I used to have severe headache. Why? Because the French people speak really fast and then trying to concentrate to pick out some words was really, really tough job on my brain. And then after about a 30 minutes broadcast, I could just get five to six words. That was hard work. And then I would contend with this headache, but I never stopped. I kept going. And then I went on to begin to watch uh, French television and I was learning steadily, uh, slowly but steadily, you would say. And then at some point, I also enrolled to take an international exams, the Delft ADO exams. And guess what? I had a distinction in that exams. I still kept learning. And then I found an application, you know, that connected me to the entire world. When learning a new language, it is necessary for you to maybe travel to that country, to a country where the language is spoken, and so you can get immersed in that language. We call it an immersion. I found an application that gave me an opportunity for an immersion whilst I was here in Nigeria, you know. Now I'm going to go on to tell you the things you need to do if you want to learn a French language, you want to learn a foreign language. I've told you my story about how I did it. Now I need to tell you how you can do it as well. The first thing you need to do is to go out there on the App Store. Is it Google Play Store? Is it Apple Store? Whichever store you're utilizing, you will find a lot of um, learning language learning apps. If you are trying to learn French language, some of the applications that were very useful for me was the Babel French. I started with the Babel French. And then I went on to Duolingo and Duolingo was exceptional. Okay, so Babel learn French, Duolingo. There was Busu, Busu app that was marvelous, but I, I couldn't get uh, absolute access to that app. And at some point I had to dump it. There's Memrise that is fantastic. And then there's the Bravolo dictionary. They have um, uh, an, uh, an interpretation dictionary. And then they have an app for learning too. There were a whole lot of um, applications I used. These are just a few. Find as many as possible. Find what works for you and then just immerse yourself. You have to be really dedicated. I mean, the first ingredient you need if you want to learn a foreign language is passion. You have to be really passionate. You have to be really engrossed in this activity if you want to make progress. So get these applications. Another important thing you can do is listening to podcasts in the language you want to learn. So I had this uh, French pod, pod 101, you know, podcast uh, that I linked on to. I had se several accounts, you know, through which I listened to this podcast. And daily I listened, I answered the questions and mine. It was interesting. I was so passionate that I kept going. So you need all this. And when you get the applications, ensure that you have a verb uh, conjugator. Because the way verbs are conjugated in the English language is completely different from how verbs are conjugated in the French language and also, I, I suppose, in every other language you want to learn. So you need a verb conjugator. Okay, and then I think that was one of the most important aspects of learning any foreign language. You must learn how to conjugate verbs. You must, you must have that at your fingertips, otherwise you'll not be able to speak. You know, so have that, then have translation dictionaries, you know, French, English, English, French, translation dictionaries. Yeah, I forgot to mention Reverso Contexto. That's an excellent app that helps you learn in context. You know, so you need all these applications. You need your dictionary. You need your verb translator. You cannot joke with those ones. And like I said, listening to podcasts is an excellent way. Now, you also have to read. You also have to read, okay? Because I had these books, like I said, that I read. I read those books and I did exercise daily. And I was really committed, even without a teacher. Now, at some point, like I said, I went to French Center to register, and there I really learned how to conjugate verbs. I did that lesson. You don't have to do exactly what I did. I did just eight-day lessons in the initial, at the initial stage because the school was shutting down for Christmas, you know, but you can probably take a three-month lesson or six-month lesson, whatever you need to help you to, you know, be able to speak this language fluently. Please go ahead and do so. Like I said, I enrolled for an exam and while uh, you know, preparing for the exams also, I interacted with a lot of 
you know, uh, French students that were writing the exams. And it was in that French center at that time that I met my sister. I call her my sister, one of my closest friends at the moment. I simply call her directrice because she was director of the French learning center at that time. See the opportunities that learning a foreign language can open you up to. And like I said, maybe I haven't said that already. Most of my best friends are French. I've never seen them. I've never met them, you know, but we talk about everything and we are like family all because I set out to learn a new language. So you should try to learn a new language. Listening to radio in the language you want to learn, listening to news especially, and also watching television programs, telenovelas, and what have you, is an excellent way to learn a foreign language. For me, it was the RFI radio, RFI in French, uh, Radio French International, uh, then uh, I also listened to TV Saint Mont, uh, that's a prime television station to learn French. And this, they were all really, really helpful. Now, I want to talk particularly about the Hello Talk application. Now, this was the application that helped me get immersed in the French language. And luckily, this application can help you learn any language at all in the world you want to learn. So you just need to go to the Play Store, to the App Store, and download this app and sign up on this app. You have nationals from every nationality in the world that are learning foreign languages. So you get yourself partners who are learning the language that you speak and then that can teach you the language you want to learn and you begin the language exchange program. You can choose how to exchange. Maybe you can exchange through messages or through calls. You can set times for your calls. But this allows you to have a first-hand experience of speaking the foreign language you're learning with nationals, with natives. You know, so I, have, I had a, a whole lot of friends on that app with whom I spoke from time to time. You know, we spoke on the phone. I learned the correct way you make mistakes from speaking on HelloTalk. App. We graduated to WhatsApp and other applications for the people you trust. And then that gave me an opportunity to practice a lot. A lot of practice is needed if you must learn a foreign language. And this is the biggest tip ever I'm going to give you now. If you want to speak a foreign language, don't be afraid of speaking. Don't wait until you're fluent to begin to speak. If you do that, you would never speak the language. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Just start speaking as you make mistakes Whoever you're speaking with will correct you or you can even correct yourself and you move on. So there's no other way. You cannot learn to speak without actually speaking. A lot of practice is needed. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Speak all the time. Seek out every opportunity, you know, to speak that foreign language and never stop practicing. Practice has got to be daily and it never stops. Up till now, I'm still learning. You know, so it's a very long journey. You have to make sure you're ready for it before you start with it. And you see, I told you I took an examination and I have a certificate. When you've learned enough, it's also good for you to get certified. So when you say I can speak this language to this extent, you can prove it with a certificate. And so this is how I learned to speak a foreign language. All of the students, especially Nigerian students who are on strike right now, what are you doing with your time? Are you wallowing away on social media, liking and commenting on people's pictures aimlessly and doing some aimless stuff? Channel your time productively. That data you're using on social media, just uh, commenting here and there, you can use it to learn a foreign language. Like I said, this will open you up to a lot of opportunities that will be helpful for your future. So please get started, get to the app store, download those applications, begin to learn, enroll in some lessons if you have to, buy those books and start learning a foreign language now. So this is my story about how I learned a foreign language. It's my experience and I really want you to get on your journey so that someday you can share with us your experience. But one thing I know is you would never regret learning a foreign language. Hopefully in the next video you meet my friend, La Directrice. You know, she was the director of the French Learning Center. We are enrolled to learn French. At the time I enrolled to learn, she was away in France, you know, on some expedition from the center. When I came back to write my professional exam, she was available and I met her and we went from becoming friends to sister. I'm sure looking forward to that. So let's hope that you get that in the next video. In the meantime, ensure that you start learning the foreign language and have yourself an amazing day. I would love to hear what you think about my experience. So please tell me in the comment section and also link up with me on Instagram at the psychologist ng and on Twitter at The Psychologist Angie. It's been a pleasure as always. And have yourself a fantastic day from me to you.
Bye. Lots of love.